Well, good morning, everybody. Here we are on a Monday morning, and it's a hot Monday morning. It's uh, eight o'clock in the morning, and that uh, sun is burning something else. Here comes a truck that's just gonna pass us by. So we're early on a Monday morning. <laughs> so we're continuing to read through Isaiah. And um, we, we come across the, the, the famous uh, prophecy about, uh, about Jesus. And, but that's not what I, I, I really stood out for me today, as much as I appreciate that and, and the accuracy of it is, is, is incredible. Um, but it's, it's more to do with what we find in Isaiah 50 where Isaiah is really, he, he's, he's talking about all the things that, that has happened to him, um, the persecution that he's faced, the, the difficulties that he's had. And, uh, and, and he turns around and, and, and he says that none of that worry, worries him because who can come against him because the Lord is his defender. And, and he goes on and, and there were so much similarities to what Paul um, wrote in, in to the Romans you know and who if God is for us who can be against us you know he, he was writing to a, to a people who were going through a very very difficult time um, lots of persecution Rome wasn't the easiest place to, to be at that time for a Christian um, it's worse in China right now so this is really a, a, a message to to any place that is is facing a price for for faith for a price and and believing in jesus isn't it crazy that people could be offended that states countries could be uh, offended because of the message of jesus christ uh, a, a message of love a, a message of of compassion and mercy and, and grace a, a message of uh, putting others ahead of yourself it, it's just it's it's crazy I, <sighs> I think part of the problem is is the is the history of the church that has been a, an instrument of control. Um, <laughs> you can't deny it. In in the history of the church, uh, we have tried to control uh, societies. We have tried to con control governments. And even to this day, we there's a, there's a sense of manipulation and, and pressure as we try to make them do what what, what we want them to do. Uh, and I'm not going to go as far as the Anabaptists with with the the um, withdrawing ourselves from from the world. That's that's not it at all. We we're it's supposed to be kingdom on earth. It's, it's supposed to be God's kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. That that's what's supposed to be happening. And and we are we are um, a people of influence. Uh, we're supposed to influence people. We're not supposed to pressure. We're not supposed to manipulate. We're not supposed to force. We're not supposed to control uh, whatsoever. Our God doesn't control us. We cannot control others. So there, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, man. There's a lot of things that we can discuss about that. Um, look at. Uh, but this is why so many places consider the church. Uh, to be a threat um, because our, our desire to, to take over and we we're never intended to take over anything we are intended to to influence and, and so this is a situation that we find around the world with the persecutions going on and this is this is the message to them uh, if, if God is for us who can be against us in, in other words if God is for us what does anything else matter what well, doesn't matter what the world thinks? What doesn't matter what the world does to me? If God is for me, and He is, if God is for me, if He chases after me, if He loves me, if He, if He's my defender, if, if He's my provider, uh, if He's my best friend, if He's my father, uh, my brother, uh, it, you know, if He's my comforter, He's He's my everything. It's I, I cannot find in, in anyone else what I find in Him. And, and there will be times, there will be trials, there will be difficulties where we have to just hold on to that truth. We just hold on to that. And that, that's what Isaiah, Isaiah went through a very difficult time, as all the prophets did. And, and he just held on to that truth. God is my defender. Do what you want. God is my defender. He, he called me 
in my mother's womb, God is my defender. And, and, and Paul, and all the things that, that Paul went through, you know, if, if God is for us, who can be against us? And, and in light, of, I, I, and I'm not trying, I, I don't want to turn around and say, well, you know, if you compare yourself to what's going on in China and then Pakistan and, and all these places, uh, you, you wouldn't feel that the things that you're going through are all that bad. But to you, they're all that bad. That, that's, your, that's really your only uh, measurement is, is what you go through. Uh, and so nobody should belittle that, whatever you're going through, whatever your trials are, whatever the difficulties, whatever the challenges that are in front of you, those are measured by you. And, uh, but it doesn't matter. The, 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 the message is the same. If God is for me, who can be against me? Nothing can separate me from the love of Christ. Nothing. He loves me. So hold on to that today, whatever season you're going through. Uh, be blessed, be encouraged, get engaged with people. Just say hello. Uh, just, hello can start a conversation. Start Just hello and see where it goes from there. And uh, represent Christ well today. Love you guys.